Welcome to the Crazy Happy Podcast. Thank you for dropping in for your dose of crazy happiness and a quick hit of positivity. Welcome to episode 125. I'm your host, Tanya Vetter of TanyaVetter.com. Today's episode is being brought to you by Women Empowerment Training Institute, empowering women and youth through engagement and exposure. Check out all of the great work that they have been doing in the community and abroad providing scholarships for those who are graduating high school and headed to college and the monthly work that they do at the Covenant House Homeless Shelter in Houston, Texas. Check them out. Become a part of it by donating at theweedy.org. Well, hello, guys. Happy New Year. Welcome to the Crazy Happy Podcast. I hope you guys had a fantastic, amazing New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I am excited, elated, over the moon, happy Yeah, because this is a crazy happy podcast, right? So over the moon happy about the upcoming events for this year. I can't wait to talk to you guys. I can't wait to also hear from some of you. Some of you have some awesome emails. I can't wait to hear more of the success stories that you guys have. I also love the questions that you send in because it gives us an opportunity to learn together. So in 2019, we have a lot of yummy, yummy, yummy things coming up. We want to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And what better way than to kick off the new year of the Crazy Happy Podcast of 2019 than with none other than the late great Zig Ziglar. And today's topic is keep pumping. That's right, you heard me. Keep pumping. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what do you mean, Tanya? What do you mean keep pumping? Well, let me share something with you. You know how we come out of the new year gate. Everybody's crazy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's energetic. We have all of these goals, aspirations, dreams, all of these mountains we're going to climb. And then within one week, we are exhausted. We have completely overwhelmed ourselves with our to-do list, right? But I want you to look at that list. Yeah, right now. (laughs) Yeah, look at that list. And I want you to really analyze What's on that list? You know, for some of us, some things we have to take off our list, right? So I want you to make a plus and a minus column and look at where you're spending most of your time. I think you'll notice that some of the things that are in your minus column have not been serving you well. So you might have to make some adjustments. But here's the thing. This is what I don't want you to do. On that plus column, I want you to really focus in on the things that matter the most to you. Because we know before we can have, we must be and we've got to do. And we wanna make sure that we're really aiming our energy in the area of our lives where we really wanna propel the most, right? So Zig Ziglar is gonna help us today by encouraging us and motivating us to keep pumping. You know what, guys? I gotta be honest, I've been a little tired lately because I've been going at it so hard. Because I understand that we have to be, do, then have, right? And when we get tired because we've burned ourselves out, because we've been going at it so hard, and I've got my hands up because I know I've been doing that lately, up at 3.30 in the morning, every single morning, just going at it. Well, what happens is sometimes we get tired, right? And you know what happens when we get tired. Oh, we get the foggy brain. And you know what the foggy brain tells us? Oh, don't do this. Oh, you're wasting your time. Oh, it'll never happen. But I want you to really check out today's episode today because we all know one thing. Before we can have, we have to be and do. Okay, so I want you to look at that list and check out what you're committing yourself to. Now, I want you to make sure you're committing to the vision that you have for yourself. You know, what do you do when you get tired? Well, let me tell you, if you're committing to a vision, I want you to. Keep pumping. Yeah. But when you get tired and you take a break, I want you to really check out who's on your team. And I'll tell you why. When you check out who's on your team, when you get tired, guess what? Just like in basketball, they bring in a substitute. Right. So even when your arm is tired from pumping and pumping and pumping, you got your main man there or you have your best friend there to come in the game and still help you. And guess what? The work is still being carried on. 
So that's what we got to do. Look at your list. Look at the plus. Look at the minus column and see what have you really been committing yourself to? Because I want you to make sure that you are committing to the thing that matters to you the most. Now, when you want to quit, I want you to keep pumping. And I want you to ask yourself, if I continue to do what I am doing, where will I be in about five years? Where will I be in one year? Where would I be in two years? And how will I feel if I give up, quit pumping and quit? Now, if your why is big enough, it'll be so worth it, guys. Let's take a listen. If everybody could become an expert at anything at a drop of a hat, would there be any rewards for it? And I think you have the answer even as I ask the question. Got a couple of good buddies. They used to live down in South Alabama. Their names were Bernard Haygood and Jimmy Glenn. One day they're out riding through the South Alabama foothills and they got a little thirsty. Well, Bernard was the driver. He's also the athletic one. So he hopped out of the car. He ran around to this old abandoned pump there in the back of this old farmhouse. And he grabbed the handle of the pump and he started to pump. Now, let me say that when old Bernard grabbed that handle and started to pump, you know, since it was August and brutally hot that day he was anxious to get some water out so he he really got after it. he was just a pump and away and after a couple of minutes he said jimmy you you better get that old bucket over there and dip some water out of the creek he said we're gonna have to prime this pump all that really means is that you got to put something in here before you can expect to get anything out here the pump is really saying in another way what we've said so many times, and that is that you got to be and do before you can have. Too many people stand in front of the stove of life, and they say, stove now, you give me some heat, and then I'll put some wood in you. So many times the employee goes to the employer and says, now give me a raise. And when you give me the raise, I'll start coming to work on time. I'll start doing the things you really want me to do. What they're saying is reward me now and then later I'll perform. That's not the way it works. First, you've got to put something in before you can expect to get anything out. Well, old Bernard wanted to drink water. But the question is, just how much pumping are you willing to do in order to get that drink of water? And after a few minutes, he said, Jimmy, I just don't believe there's any water down there. And Jimmy said, yes, it is, Bernard. You know, in South Alabama, the wells are deep. We're glad they are, aren't we? Because you see, the deeper the well, the cleaner, the sweeter, the purer, the better tasting the water is. And isn't that another lesson the pump can teach us? Isn't it true that those things which have value, I mean real value, are those things which we have to work for over a period of time? Yes, it's absolutely true. That those things which have value, which have real value, are those things which we make that honest effort to acquire. We work at it and we, we do a little sweating in the process. And, and by now, old Bernard is really beginning to sweat. I mean, it's August. It's hot. And finally, he just threw up his hand. He said, Jimmy, uh, there just ain't no water down there. Jimmy said, don't stop, Bernard. Don't stop. If you stop, that water's going to go all the way back down. And then... You're going to have to start all over. And isn't that the story of life? Isn't it true that so many people lose out on a lot of effort they've expended in the past because they don't do just a little bit more? Well, there you have it, guys. Hey, I hope this episode has served you well. Zig Ziglar is someone that I can listen to all the time. He was Tony Robbins' mentor. He was also Les Brown's mentor. I mean, this this man was such a phenomenal speaker. And the way that he brought his message was just relatable to anyone, right? And so I want you to really check out his work on YouTube, Zig Ziglar. You'll see tons of resources that will be helpful to you along your journey. You'll see tons of resources that you can benefit from. You guys, I'm excited about 2019 and all that it's going to be offering us. I want to inspire you and tell you, keep pumping. Don't quit. Look at your list. Make a commitment to yourself. Be light, be love, be you. Check me out at tanyaveta.com. Share this with your friends. Give me a review on iTunes um, and let us know what you think about the Crazy Happy Podcast and what are you looking forward to? See you guys soon. Be light, be love, be you. Have a good day.